So that's kind of our core here. I, you know, volunteers come in. If you have a skill that you'd like to teach our kids, or you want to come in and help with homework, anybody good at math, come on. No, anybody good at anything else. Um, I know I took psychology, I think, so I didn't have to take math. But <laughs> um, yes, there are always volunteer opportunities, and um, we do require that we do ask that you volunteer once a week. Um, it's a good place to start if you really plan on getting into the field it's a nice area to kind of get your foot into the door um, AmeriCorps if you haven't heard about AmeriCorps is also a wonderful opportunity we don't do paid internships but we will you can do an internship there we can make it kind of practicum we can adapt things to if you have a coursework or something that you need to do something with you know we're definitely very flexible like that um, but if you're looking for a good way you know AmeriCorps we would hire you would do some full-time or part-time hours you would get paid um, very minimal because it is considered a national volunteer program um, but you would get paid very minimal and then you'd get a college scholarship um, based upon how many hours that you do and that we have three AmeriCorps members mm -hmm. And most AmeriCorps members end up getting hired afterwards. And it's not only with us, you know, it's kind of with most agencies in Lincoln too, a lot of the rec centers, and um, there are a lot of places in Lincoln that that would be a good place to start if you're looking for paid, paid ways to get your foot into the door. But we really just need, you know, positive people for our teenagers, you know. They have a lot of people, um, our population have a lot of people it's un very unstable there are a lot of people in and out of their lives you know and so for them to find a place that's consistent and faces that are consistent that's the best way as a volunteer as a part-time person to come in and make a connection with the youth further your chances of making you know getting employed there when I first started working there I literally made a decision it was you know that sophomore year of college where I could have gone home and lived for free or just stayed here and paid rent which I didn't really want to do but I love this job so much. I had no guaranteed hours, but I just felt in my heart that, you know, that I was going to be there. So I ended up once a week, and I, you could see the ladder, and I'm like, well, if I'm here a little longer, maybe I'll come up here to this position, and a little longer, maybe I'll come up here. So it's, it's really nice. If I wouldn't have started there full time, part time, I would have had a harder time getting in there. Um, as as a full time member, because it is such a they they, they turn around and say, oh well. One of our questions is an interview, you know, tell me how you've made a, how you've impacted a, an adolescent in their life, you know, tell me how you've solved a conflict, you know, it's, it's a different type of interview when you're working with, when you're working with hands-on teenagers, direct, direct support and direct care.